Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at Valiverse. And today, I'm very excited. It's something different. We're not looking at DC Multiverse. I know we've done a lot of that lately. It's not Marvel Legends. It's not Ninja Turtles. It's not He-Man. It's some really cool military-type toys in the veins of, we'll say, G.I. Joe. That's what I'm thinking. And Marvel Legends and things of that nature. And we'll see how they all scale to one another. But this is the brand new Bobby Vala Valivers Action Force. And again, I'm very stoked. It's something different. You got two different looks for today. You got the Delta Gear set, which is essentially a weapons accessory pack, which I definitely dig. It's a very simple box. You got nice graphics, nice art. Everything tells you what you're getting in the box. And then you got the action points right there, which I absolutely love. Cut and save those action points for future promotions. It's like pizza points. You got me with that. That is awesome. And, of course, we also have the Delta Trooper. So, again, just to kind of reiterate, you want a weapons pack? You got a weapons pack. You want an army builder? Hey, you got the Delta Trooper. Or you can smush them together and you got one souped up trooper. Here's a little bit of a bio for him. It's a various man with no name trooper, we'll just say. And of course, you've got the action points on there as well. Now, if you are interested, I'll put a link down in the description below. You can check out the Valiverse.com website. You can check out all the various figures, the weapons packs. We'll see how everything kind of fits with various action figure lines and, you know, the whole spiel by now. But in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Action Force Delta Gear set and the Delta Trooper by Valiverse. Now, just before we get started, I want to point this out. You have, again, a really nice solid box. It's just a box. Simple, right? You open the box and it's got little poly bags and I absolutely love that. There's not a whole lot of plastic trays and things you got to cut. It's just a little baggie with the weapons and the figure. That's awesome. Please do more of that, right? So here's everything out of the two packages. I was going to do a big video, right, where I looked at everything that they kind of sent over, but this is enough for just one video, I'm telling you right now. You get a ton of weapons, you get a ton of hands, but we'll look at the weapons pack first. So uh, let me just point out, forgive me if I don't know the exact uh, names for all this kind of stuff, but uh, it's a backpack. It could have used a little bit more paint, just saying, but the mix up for that in this tactile vest and, I mean, they went to town on this. You got a little intercom. You got some weapons storage, knife, ammo right here. This folds in really nicely. I was like, where does it connect, right? That's pretty cool. It's like, it's seamless. So you just kind of wrap it around the figure when you want to put it on right there. And it simply just clips back in there. Very well done. Can't complain. It's got little nice nods of paint here and there. Black. You can put an antenna right there. I'll show you everything how it works but right here you get the gun and it seems like green is the motif for this particular set and the figure right but nicely sculpted you got a little porthole at the tip you can put a little blast effect in there but yeah it's pretty well done i gotta give it to them all day on that now you do get two extra ammo caches holders whatever you want to call them i'm thinking back to my golden eye days on the n64 right you've picked up weapons that's what i immediately think of you get a nice cool knife right that's awesome it's actually pretty sharp that's pretty sweet and you get a handgun as well again black and green seems to be the motif for this particular set and then of course you have this little piece right here and i was like what in the world is this i thought it was like a scope at first but it's a little antenna it goes in the pack holder i'll show you that then you have the really cool looking helmet it's a green not a whole lot of paint on it but it does come with an intercom system and you can Move the headphones up, I would say. I think that's uh, really what you're supposed to do here. You can kind of move it up and move it back when you have it on the figure, which, hey, that totally works. And then you have this little piece right here, which is like the infrared night vision scope, something or other. Again, forgive me on this. It clips on the front right there, and that looks awesome. You can get it going top or bottom, flip it upside down. You got a big old ammo belt right here, all the different weapons and such. They really did do a great job on this. You got a flashlight, you got the little knife, right? Folds out, you got weapon ammo, you got the belts. I mean, that's pretty cool. And of course you could put a handgun right in there. So yeah, it's really nice. Now there's no clip on this. You simply got to wiggle it up his legs. At least that's what I did. And then you got three bursts of fire, right? It's coming out the tip of a gun and you got a little mini burst, long burst, short burst, you know. 
you get the idea. Two of them fit in, one of them will clip on, just don't drop it and lose it. But let's look at how the vest works, right, in detail. So you get the little antenna right here, and that will plug in, right? I like that they did that. I like how everything comes apart or plugs in, and you can customize the heck out of it. You can put the knife right there, so that slides in just like that. Fits in there nice and snug. That's not falling out anytime soon. Then you got the extra bullets. Those can fit right into there. You got two of those. Again, very teeny tiny stuff, but the attention to detail is there. I really do dig that. And you can see all around, yeah, you got a really nice look of vest. You got the porthole. You can put the backpack in. Then on the belt, you can put the handgun right there into the holster. And uh, bingo, bango. Yeah, we've got some great looking accessories oh wait yeah there's a figure we need to talk about too right well just the figure comes with a ton of extra hands and something i want to point out when you have let's say marvel legends or power rangers power rangers lightning collection the hand ports are very thin this is a nice thick port and it slides in there and it stays and it doesn't feel like you're going to break it so i definitely like that that's a nice change of pace i'll tell you what you do get a gun with this guy there's no paint on this one it's got a silencer it's got ammo sticking out the bottom it just looks like you're going to wreak havoc with that and then you get an extra head portrait so you can go caucasian style or you can do african-american and i like that they gave you the options on that and they're both painted really nicely kind of looks like sin eater from uh, Marvel, just saying. That would make for a, an interesting variant, right? A little purple on this guy. I don't know, we'll talk about that later because yes, we actually have a figure to look at. And this very much feels like a Marvel Legends figure. It feels like a Hasbro Power Rangers figure. It feels like a G.I. Joe figure. And that's not a bad thing, but it feels different in the sense that it's a little bit heavier, right? It's a very solid plastic. And just in terms of the sculpt and all the detail, I mean, it's a good looking figure. I'll give him that all day. The articulation is pretty much perfect. I have to say, you get a lot of rotation in the head. You got butterfly joints. You got double jointed elbows. Everything's pinless. I really like the torso on this particular figure. I like that you can do the waist. You get a lot of momentum. The legs will drop down. That's kind of cool. You got double jointed knees. You'll kick out. Just go really easy. Might want to heat them up just in the legs. I think that's the only part. Nothing that was like overly stuck, but just in the sense of that. You got boot swivel. The feet will rock. You got thigh. And it's in the best of ways because you can really do a lot with this figure, as you'll see. And the best part is it comes with a stand. I love when figures come with a stand. It says Action Force. It's like a really cool metal grating. It's awesome. It says Valiverse on the back. Let's show you what the figure can do. And I like that... Uh, you got the basic figure, right? Comes with a gun. No frills, which is not a bad thing at all. You get a bunch of these guys. You want to army build them. Sure, why not? But then you maybe want to accessorize with a belt, right? So you got a new belt for this fancy figure. And then, hey, maybe put on that big old vest with all the different weapons all over the place. Maybe put a backpack on them as well. I'll be honest with you. I think, one, I think the backpack should have a little bit more variation in the paint and the straps and such. And I don't really like it. I think it's a little too cumbersome for this. Kind of like to leave the backpack off in that sense. But it does fit, of course. You grab the helmet. You put the scopes down. That's pretty solid as well. Give it to him all day. You're really starting to load this guy up with all the different weapons and accessories. And I totally dig that and it looks good while doing that flip the scope around you can do it that way right that looks cool now holding the accessories you got the knife which you can do maybe he's going to grab the handgun fire off a few he's got a bad guy coming after him right something like that put a little blast effect in there totally works fits in there stays in there nicely but you came here for the big guns right and uh, yeah the one thing i really want to point out though is some figures recently with holding the trigger and such with the figures when they come with guns, uh, they don't exactly match up. This looks great. Oh, and by the way, you could pull the magazine out and pop it back in there if you want. So that's why you got all those extra magazine bullet clips. That's a nice touch right there. I totally dig that. And then with the articulation, you could get the gun right up against his shoulder. And yeah, I mean, 
That's a really cool military looking figure right there. Put a blast effect on there. Go ahead and put the big burst in there, right? He's got some multiple enemies coming at him. And I really do like the way that looks. That's a complete package right there. You know what I mean? Just having that little effect makes a difference. Or you can do a little boop, right? Little bullet boop. <laughs> Or you gotta have two guns going on full on zombie attack mode, so that looks great as well. Now, if you're wondering in terms of how they scale with other figures, now I'm gonna primarily use what I think Marvel Legends will just say with Spider Man and the such. He's around that six inch scale. If you have six inch scale figures, then yeah, I think you'll be in good company. But the reason I chose Spider Man again, and I mentioned it earlier in the video, this guy totally reminds me of the Sin Eater. And I'm just going to point this out. You want to put a little purple on him, something like that, do a variant, might The guy who eats sins or something like that figure. You have him battling Spider-Man. I mean, Hasbro didn't make it, so why not have a Sin Eater, quote-unquote. Just saying, right? Now, Marvel Legends ain't your thing, you say? Well, how about DC Multiverse? Now, again, they're in that six-inch mark. I think the Mattel DC Universe Classics may fit a little bit better. McFarlane's DC Multiverse may go back and forth in terms of the scale chart, much like their figures do. Although, with this, like, Batman Noel figure... That doesn't look too bad, right? It's kind of fun seeing Spider-Man or Batman go up against military type guys you know maybe not in the sense that they're villains but you always send the military after batman or spider-man it's kind of a cool thing or before superman rolls up on the scene send out the military metropolis is under attack and they're going up against doomsday which knowing doomsday is probably not going to pan out all too well but hey it looks cool right now in terms of G.I. Joe, not a big G.I. Joe collector. I do have these two. These, I think, will fit in quite nicely. So you can have them going up against Cobra or Mars. And I have to say, if you're a G.I. Joe fan, if you're going Valiverse, if you're going G.I. Joe Classified, man, there is a lot going on for you guys. I'm not even a fan of G.I. Joe, but I want that Serpenter that uh, they released during Comic-Con. That thing looks amazing and so ridiculously 80s at the same time. If you're wondering in terms of NECA toys, more on that 7 to 8 inch scale, that's definitely going to vary as well. I would say more in terms of like the human figures, no, they're not going to match up scale wise. But for the monsters, Predator, Alien, I would say that that works more often than not. Also because you can have a smaller human character compared to large monstrosities. It's lights out for you, buddy. Now, how do these weapons, accessory packs, work the opposite way? Well, let's use my recent Marvel Legends Bone Breaker. Unfortunately, the blast effects do not fit perfectly into the gun. It more is like a, a boop. <laughs> Just kind of hangs there. So in that sense, now the blast effects may not work for newer type stuff. But in juxtaposition, if you wanted to give these Valiverse weapons to G.I. Joe, those will totally be compatible. I have another set of weapons. I'll look more of that into detail coming soon. So stay tuned for my next video. And if you want to use G.I. Joe for Valiverse, you can totally do that as well. And like I said, I do have a few more figures. I got an accessory pack to check out. So look for those videos later on. And that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Valiverse Delta Trooper and Delta Accessory set. And again, thank you to Bobby Val and Valiverse for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Action Force. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I really like how all the weapons disassemble and you can put stuff in the holsters and yada yada. I'm not a big fan of weapons myself, right? I don't know nothing about them. But uh, when it's action figures related, I mean, that's, that's pretty solid. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.